Welcome to the QB Sales Data QuickBooks Link for Act video library. This video will cover how to create a QuickBooks customer record from a contact record in Act. This is one of the great time saving features of the QB Sales Data product. You can enter in your prospects into Act, and when they become customers, with a click of a button, you can use that information to create their QuickBooks customer record. Let's show you how that happens. As you can see on the screen, I have Advantage Leasing as my record in ACT. They just became a customer today. They don't exist in QuickBooks yet. If I want to use this information to create a QuickBooks customer record, I can simply come up to the upper left and click on the QB Create Link Customer button. When I do that, I get the following window. It's asking me if I want to create a new customer in QuickBooks or link to an existing customer record in QuickBooks. Because this customer does not exist in QuickBooks yet, I obviously want to choose the Create option. When I click on the Create button, it will prompt me asking me what customer name do I want to use. In this case, it will take the company name by default. If I want, I have a pull down, so it will also let me choose the contacts name, first name last or last name first, or if I wanted to I could actually type in the information if I wanted it to be different than the information in ACT. In this case though I just want it to be the same as what's in ACT, Advantage Leasing, and at this point I can click on the Create button. It will take the information that's in ACT and it will create the customer in QuickBooks. Because there are some additional fields in QuickBooks that you may want to set up, like terms and type and wrap and credit limit and so on, you may want to edit that record in QuickBooks now. So we ask you if you want to do that. In this case, I'll go ahead and say yes, and it will take me to the record in QuickBooks. Notice I'm on the Advantage Leasing record. All the appropriate information was filled out. I can click on the Additional Info tab and fill out the additional information here and that's appropriate for my company I click OK and the record has been fully filled out in QuickBooks from here I can switch back to ACT and I'll see that my QB ID number is filled out and if I wanted to pull in uh, that additional the additional QuickBooks fields that I filled out I can cl simply click on the refresh data from QB. This is actually like a mini transaction sync here just for the current record. And when I do that, it'll go and read QuickBooks and it'll populate the additional information. And, uh, and actually, if it w there were any other transactions, it would bring those over as well. But here you can see that it brought over the terms that we filled out, the QB type, and the rep. So just to kind of continue, we, we've just created a brand new customer in QuickBooks using the record from ACT, and very often you'll want to create a transaction then next. And notice that you do have the ability to create an invoice or an estimate, sales order, sales receipt, uh, right from the record in ACT now that it's linked. So if I wanted to, in this case, create an invoice, I could select invoice, and it would jump me over to the invoice screen in QuickBooks and let me fill out the rest of that information. So let me fill out a basic invoice. And when I hit save, that'll be saved on Advantage Leasing. If I go back to ACT, the data doesn't show up here yet, but either in the nightly transaction sync or if I wanted to run a manual one, I could click on refresh data from QB again and that will actually go and read the transaction information from QuickBooks and when that's complete you'll notice that the past due balance information is refreshed, last invoice is updated, year to date sales and sales totals are updated and if I go to the QB transactions tab that information will appear there as well as the QB items tab. Okay, so once again, huge time savers, being able to create 
a new customer in QuickBooks from a record in Act using the QB Create Link Customer button. Once that is linked and created, then you can use the Transactions options on the toolbar to create those transactions. At any point, if you want to refresh the data for that particular contact, you can click on the Refresh Data from QB button, and it will refresh it for the contact that's on the screen. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it informative. Feel free to watch any of the other videos in our video library, and have a great day.